Welcome everyone from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of readings. A letter of Sulpicius Severus Martin, the poor and humble man. He spent some time in Candice, or rather, in its church where he stayed. Peace was restored, and he was planning to return to his monastery when suddenly he began to lose his strength. He summoned his brethren and told them he was dying. All who heard this were overcome with grief. In their sorrow, they cried to him with one voice, Father, why are you deserting us? Who will care for us when you are gone? Savage wolves will attack your flock, and who will save us from their bite when our shepherd is struck down? We know you long to be with Christ, but your reward is certain and will not be any less for being delayed. You will do better to show pity for us rather than forsake us. Thereupon he broke into tears, for he was a man in whom the compassion of our Lord was continually revealed. Turning to our Lord, he made this reply to their pleading. Lord, if your people still need me, I am ready for the task. Your will be done. With these words, he gave up his spirit to heaven. Filled with joy, Martin was welcomed by Abraham. Thus, he left this life a poor and lowly man and entered heaven rich in God's favor. From the Desert with Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence 
all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. <laughs>